Pol lavale majandusteaduskonna vilistlase endise tudenga aktivisti ja Poltfoodi globaalse turundusjuhi Liia Palipea. Honored Vice Director, Dean, Professors, Graduates, your friends and families. It's a huge honor to be on this stage. Not so long ago, I graduated from this bachelor program too. I was studying business with focus on marketing. Back then, when doing my graduation speech, I was very nervous and decided that I will practice my public speaking skills as much as possible from there on. Fast forward some years, building my own company, freelancing, building bold food marketing from zero to 20 plus countries and 70 plus cities, here I am, still very nervous. I remember on my graduation day, I was sitting in this room thinking about what would be next. All of these endless possibilities with my broad knowledge in business, marketing, felt overwhelming. So I decided I'd set five-year goals. For my next five or so years, I would focus on my career and professional growth. But how? Where to start? What's the best way of getting there? This is why, for my speech today, I figured I'll share the advice I wish I had when I was graduating. This advice would have simplified some of the steps down my road. I sincerely hope it does the same for you. Today, I'll give you two types of advice professional and personal. I'll start with professional. Where to next and where to start from? One of the most impactful things I learned is that no one has it all figured out. No one. Businessmen, politicians, celebrities, presidents. Everyone is doing whatever they're doing for the first time in their lives. Your parents never had you graduate from this program before, so they will do their best guess as to how to approach this new task. Your current or future boss has likely never managed the size of team that they have now. So they will do their best guess in handling their task. You will start building your path. So approach it with your best guess based on your intuition, experience, and prior, prior knowledge. Since no one has it all figured out, don't put that much pressure on yourself in order to be prepared and have it all executed perfectly. There's always, always a lot of room to improve, learn, and grow, and it's okay. Just decide on a direction, stick to it, and do your best. Advice number two, work on your daily habits to make sure you approach each new tomorrow in just 1% better shape than yesterday. Cumulatively, this 1% improvement will get you exponentially further in life. But I'm sure that after graduating in business administration, you know very well the power of compound interest. Einstein named compound interest the eighth wonder of the world. And it's not only true in economics. It's also true in reading, studying new languages, and getting new skills. Advice number three. Find ways to compound your knowledge and experience. Read. Try new hobbies and expand your horizons daily. You cannot imagine the doors the general knowledge can open for you. You may have heard that specializing is the key to success in 21st century, and generally, it can be true. However, for me, it has been the opposite. Being able to incorporate specific marketing knowledge into broader business context was what helped me grow most. Advice number four, don't be afraid to fail. Women, this is especially important for you. Remember how I said that uh, mostly people are just trying their best at uh, whatever they're doing? Well, that's especially true for men. Apparently, men apply to jobs where they only meet 60% of the qualifications, while women apply for jobs only when they meet 100% of qualifications. Why? Because women are afraid to fail more than men. Everyone fails in one way or another eventually. Being scared of failure will only hinder your growth. Advice for businessmen. For those of you going into your own business, I'm sorry for you in advance. As a wife of an entrepreneur, 
I see how much struggle and failure there is before things start moving into the right direction. As Ben Horowitz wrote in his book, The Hard Things About Hard Things, and I quote, life is struggle. I believe that within that quote lies the most important lesson in entrepreneurship, embrace the struggle, end of quote. So advice number five, embrace the struggle. And here comes my pro last and probably the most important piece of advice. Once you have gone through a struggle, learned a new skill, got a new job, you have to celebrate the wins, small wins or big ones. Never leave a win uncelebrated because these are the moments you really work for. So make this win, take this win and celebrate. My sincerest congratulations to all of you. Thank you. Before I leave though, I have one final task or challenge for you. Here's the QR code. Uh, dear graduates, please take out your phones, scan it, and join the alumni group at Teltech. Thank you again.